Yeah, John's been around the block. Yes, he has. And he knows all the tricks. And they probably won't be playing any games today. But uh, if Ron Moore starts going, he's going to start running them out. So Johnny will probably do the same thing if he can get going. Here we go. Ten frames to glory. Will it be Moore? Will it be Petraglia? Opening shot, left lane, Ron Moore. Oh, almost saw the 7-10. We saw quite a few of those, didn't yeah. we? He was a little bit more behind the ball, and then that's when he's leaving the flat, flatter hit. So he needs to be kind of in between there, a little bit more tilt. But also the carry down, and he's using a weaker ball. He's using a game breaker, so it's, it's weaker. Doesn't hook as much. Medium, medium ball. Labels the 10 pin, opening spare for Ron Moore. And now, could it be a night for the history books? Johnny Petraglia. Okay, he is using that Hellraiser ball, so see what he does. He just doesn't want to get too slow, though. If he gets too slow, he's going to go right through the nose with it. Johnny knows the significance of this match. And shakes him out. Light hit. A little squirrely, but got the job done. He had that when he was bowling earlier, so. We're Bidding. just going to see if he, if this other lane's tighter or not. Bidding for like his uh, eighth career senior title. and uh, That's a lot would be the first to earn six national titles, or rather six decades worth of national titles. Weber did it, but he earned a regional title in one of those decades. That'll be so awesome if he can pull it off. That looks pretty good. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> and the double hey. for JP. That ball's really driving. Boy, the pins are just reacting so well when he spins the ball like that. That ball is just really hitting hard. I know that John Jr. hopefully is out there watching somewhere and probably uh, wishing they didn't have to go back east. Chance to watch Dad bowl for the title. Now more after this opening spare up in the second up against the Petraglia double championship match. Slaps the 10 out. He's nodding. He, he knows he threw it better that time. He threw it better, and the ball grabbed a little bit more. But, it's you know, with his release, though, it's kind of hard to tell if he's making that good of a shot or not. Mostly you just have to look at his timing. His timing is usually the same, so that's how you tell. But his, his release kind of varies, but he's kind of an instinct player at the bottom, so when he gets down in there, sometimes he releases it a little bit different because he feels something a little bit different there. Moore's going to take a re-rack here. Yeah, he's real, real tedious about stuff like that. He likes to re-rack a lot. He box a lot. If he feels something that's not feeling right, he'll just stop. So you got to kind of watch him when you're crossing by him. He stayed behind that one better, but still flat. That lane's definitely tighter. And you see how the ball's hitting weak now. And now he thinks that's a good shot, but yet the ball's not reacting at all. I mean, it's hitting like a cream puff right now. He needs to do something a little bit different. But he can't really, because if he goes to a ball that's a little bit stronger than that, the ball's going to hook off the lane in that zone. So right now, he's kind of stuck there. Spare strike, spare, and avoiding 2 seven, ten splits. So uh, more clean. And Petraglia's got an opening double and an early lead here. Championship match, PBA Senior Dayton Classic, presented by Roto Grip. Mike J. Lane's side alongside Kenny Parks. And we're glad to be here live at Capri Lanes in Kettering, Ohio. The Wright Brothers Inspired Trophy awaits the winner. Third frame. Pretty good. Wow. <laughs> See how hard that ball's hitting? Made him dance. Now you know, now you know why he, he made that big run on those last eight. Wow. Look out, Johnny's all business. I mean, I bowled him first match this morning, and he beat me 258 to 245. I left a blower 710, but 
I was I was surprised that he was bowling that well that early in the morning. I figured he'd still be tired or something. But he he wasn't. 65-year-old Johnny Petraglia bidding for PBA history. He's got an opening turkey against Moore. Fourth frame. Oh, see, he let it break loose. That was the one problem. He got slow. He got it to the left a little bit more. As soon as he did that, the ball faced up way too hard. You know, so that eliminates his three-bagger. So now he's got a double. So now it's a lot closer, maybe within 10 or so. He's still got a slight lead. Johnny takes the wood. But now you don't want to be giving this guy any kind of room. You know, you're hoping he doesn't shoot more than 220, and then you've got a chance to beat him. So there's the score. Triple open for Petraglia. Clean, no doubles for Moore. Fourth frame. Struck back here in the well, second. Well, he's going to hit the pocket every time. It's just a matter of, I just don't think this ball is strong enough for this, but he's been managing to pull it together with it all week. So. See, now he's trying to help it. He moved out to the right a little bit, and he hit the ball harder. Now they're in the transition. So now who's going to guess right? Because that's all it is, is a guessing game. You guess right, you're in. You guess wrong, you are out. Educated guess. That's all they are. You just try to use your experiences from down the line. You just try to think about it and make a calm decision, and then it's an educated decision. And that's the mental chess match of the sport of bowling. Well, mentally, he's probably stronger than most. I would compare Ron Moore's mental game, not as good as Walter's, but it's, it's up in that kind of a category. He does this a lot, and, you know, the real great players do that. Moore trails by six here, fifth frame. That was a better shot. But still, it's not, he cannot move to the right too much more because if he does, it's going to go right through the nose. He cannot do that. So right now, he's in kind of a jail area. You know, it's just can Johnny do something while he's negating himself here until he gets the right combo? Moore cleans it up. He's clean through five. He's only got the one strike. And uh, talking to John before we started the match, I said, you know, John, bowled for a lot of titles. You know how nervous are you? He said, I get a little nervous, and that's good, and that's why we're here. This is why I do this. Wow, every time he has that good speed and he doesn't get it out too wide, that ball is hitting so tremendous. So Johnny Petraglia not only bidding for his eighth career PBA Senior Tour title here at the Dayton Classic presented by Roto-Grip, but also a brush with history. He's going to try to become the first ever to win national tour titles in six different decades. That's better than the last shot. Oh, that was a little bit firmer now, and it just slid that little bit extra. But it was close. But right now, both the guys have a little bit of carry down, so, you know, they're kind of touchy right now. And, of course, they're going for the title, so that'll make it a little bit more touchy. And just to give you a sense of... Uh the history involved and, and you know the just the likeliness of having someone do that again say you're a PBA tour champion and you've won titles in the 90s and the thousands and in the teens now mm -hmm. you would have to go with a title in the 20s the 30s and the 2040s to match Weber and what Petraglia may be on the precipice of more up sixth frame on a spare Oh, he's really hitting it now. But see it skid? See it skid more? 
He, he hit the ball more, and he got it to his hook point, but the ball never recovered. That's because the ball's weak, and that's why he went to it earlier this week, but now that they're tighter, and we talk about this, the championship pair is tighter. Why not use some surface and move in a little bit so that way when you barely miss, you can still get the ball to the hook. But he's doing better than me, so I guess he knows more about what his game is, you know, what he So likes. his strategy is to, to make the ball that he has work as opposed to go to the other ball. That's right. He told me earlier before the, the telecast that uh, he was going to look longer if he had to, but he was going to play to the right with the same balls. He was not going to switch because we talked about possibly him going to some more hooking balls, and um, he said he was not going to do that. So sticking with his guns, seventh frame, Ron Moore. Just one strike back in the second. Boy, he moved way out. Took your advice. Well, he needs to not worry about my <laughs> advice. He needs to do something for himself there, which he did. Strike for Moore. Okay, now, you know, Johnny's still ahead, I believe. And, you know, he can put some heat on him with a double right here. Seventh frame. Tragley on the spare. Nope. Oh. It is really tight, and he is not making the same release. Not quite. Is it the lane carrying down, or is it his release? That's what he's got to decide. Right now, that's big trouble. He needs to make this. Nope. And let's see what that does on the count. 131 open now through seven. Okay, well, the, that's not really that much of a factor. And that hands more a six-pin lead on the bench. Right. Well, Johnny's got a problem. But Ron's not striking a lot, so if he can put a couple together, decide what he's going to make his change, what is he going to do. Looks like he moved out and straighter now. And now it's not going to hit, or is it? Yes! Oh, wow. Down goes seven late. That is an awesome hit right there because that really sets him up nicely. Ron had a strike up, so if Ron doubles here, he's in trouble. So Moore given a six-pin lead due to the Petraglia open. Each player now on a strike. Moore entering the eighth frame. Can take a six-pin lead and... Extended to 16 with his first double of this championship match. I think he's trying to get firmer now and stand to the right more so he could actually, the ball shouldn't hit that hard. We'll see what happens. Well, he now he's found his zone because he threw a really good shot there and the ball hit nicely. So he's over far enough to the right with his feet. Okay, now he's now Johnny's in big trouble, for sure. Like we've been talking about, Ron Moore can put the heat on him right here. Another strike's going to give him at least a 20-pin lead. Each player with seven career PBA Senior Tour titles, bidding for their eighth. And now a 16-pin lead for Ron Moore can extend to 26 with another strike in the foundation frame. A little more time. That one got wide. And There's the flatsy. Mm. Well, he didn't have as much hand rotation that time. See how it was a lot, lot straighter and it was just kind of yuck at the bottom? Maybe that's not the best description, but I... I got your it point. It wasn't as Yeah, good. no, you, you, you got me. That was kind of yucky. You had me at why. Okay. <laughs> Is he going to keep on making all of his spares? Let's see. No problem. So, tournament leader, Johnny Petraglia, had more start, which means he will finish the ninth and 10th frames first. Okay, he needs this one right here to set him up. 
what can you go? To 21? Yep. Wow. He's playing the lane straighter now. He's not sure what it's going to do, and somehow he tripped that six out of there. So these two last hits he had were marginal, but he still got them. Wow. I wish I could get a break when I needed it like that. <laughs> okay, now he needs a double here. Put the heat on run. Best mark and shoot is 216. Wow. He can close him out then? Yes, sir. Well, if he gets this one right here, you got a, the new six-decade champ. If he strikes right here, folks. Best Ron Moore can do is 216. Johnny Petraglia can max 221. That means strike and six. This is going to lock him out right here. And he'll just need a good count if he can get this strike right here. Strike to claim PBA history. He got that wider. Wow, he did it. Unbelievable. Clutch strike from Petraglia. There's some pins left to deal with. Johnny Petraglia on the verge of PBA history. Looking to become the first player ever to win national titles in six decades. Wow. Johnny Petraglia. Unbelievable. Eighth national senior tour title.